Hello, I'm Jennifer Kuang. And I'm Timmy Lau. We are the food and beverage business development managers from Australia, Hong Kong. Our role in Hong Kong is to help Australian companies grow and develop in this market. And today, we are going to share with you some insights in the food and beverage industry in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a big and attractive market for Australian exporters. And in fact, Australia is currently the fifth largest supplier to Hong Kong. And just in 2018 alone, Australia has exported an incredible $1.6 billion worth of food and beverage products to this market. Located in the heart of Asia, Hong Kong is a small city with 7.4 million people. It is fair to say the consumer here are food critics or wine aficionados. They know how to appreciate good food as well as quality fresh produce and natural organic products. We all know Australia has a great reputation for having a diverse range of foods, food safety and sustainability. These have all given a strong foundation for Australian exporters to come to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is also one of the freest economy in the world with no market access restriction and no import duty on food and beverage. Hong Kong has one of the largest Australian communities abroad with around 100,000 Australians living here. They are the potential loyal fan base or spokespeople for your products. There is a number of Australian chefs working in high-end restaurants and hotels in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, opportunities certainly go beyond the local demand. For many Australian exporters here, Hong Kong is also an ideal launch pad for them to access other Asian markets. Hong Kong has one of the busiest airports in Asia. Along with a steep sea ports and the excellent logistics centers, products are moved in and out of Hong Kong very efficiently. Hong Kong is also a significant hub for re-exports. Over 40% of our food and beverage products in Hong Kong are re-exported to neighboring Asian markets, including mainland China and Macau. As Asia's culinary capital, Hong Kong is the trendsetter and a good testing ground for Australian products. There are 63 Michelin-style restaurants in Hong Kong, and many of them are managed by famous chefs from around the world. There is also an outstanding tourism industry in Hong Kong. We have received over 65 million tourists last year, with more than half of them coming from mainland China. Therefore, you may consider to use Hong Kong as the anchor city to promote your brands here. So, how are Australian products exported to Hong Kong? The export journey is fairly straightforward. Many of the products are imported through the Hong Kong-based importers or an Australia-based export agent. For some high-volume selected items, such as beef, citrus fruits, carrots and potatoes, Hong Kong retailers and the food service operators may also want to get these products directly from Australia. Almost half of the offline grocery sales are from supermarkets. But high quality Australian products are also available in smaller stores specializing in premium meats, seafood, wines, and natural organic products. Further details are available at Austria's latest document, The Understanding the Food and Retail Stores in Hong Kong and Macau. Please feel free to download it from our website. I'm sure many of you understand that entering a new market is not exactly easy. It requires quite a bit of patience and preparations, maybe good timing as well. Our Austria's network of business advisors are here to support you throughout the journey to gain traction and grow in Hong Kong and other overseas markets. Our website could be a good starting point. It provides useful online tools including international readiness indicator and step-by-step -step guide to export. After shortlisting an export market for your company, Austria's overseas network, including both of us, can work alongside you on export development to save you time and reduce risk. So what's next? 
One crucial aspect of an export strategy is to make your sales visual in the destination market. A number of trade shows happen in Hong Kong every year, and they all serve as a good platform to showcase your products to the Asian trade buyers. Halifax is one biennial regional trade show that takes place in May. Over 60 Australian companies joined us in the 2019 version to exhibit a variety of premium food and beverage there. There are also other several category-specific trade shows, such as the Phoenexpo Hong Kong that takes place biannually in May. There were 150 Australian wineries at Phoenexpo 2018 to celebrate Australia as the country of honor. The Asia Fruit Logistica is another flagship trade show in Hong Kong. It happens in September every year. In 2018, Australia hosted one of the largest pavilions there with close to 80 exhibitors. Some other major trade shows in Hong Kong include the Natural Organic Product Asia in August, the Seafood Expo Asia, and the Restaurant and Bar in September as well as the HKTDC Wines and Spirit Fairs in November every year. So, are you ready to export your product to Hong Kong? Contact one of our team members today and find out what Austrade can do for you.